Welcome to Microsoft Office Word 2013 uh, WL1 We will start working on uh, Microsoft Word Lab 1 To get started with this lab you need to open the instruction uh, file which is located on Blackboard uh, The name of the file is Word Lab 1 instruction.docx So I already downloaded the file and I will go ahead and open it we will look together what items will be covered in, in this lab we will use nested folders open uh, a document a word document save a word document uh, understand the show and hide format use basic keyboard functions practice basic text entry and then create a simple bulleted list and use the zoom functions so let's go ahead and start with this lab. Uh, uh, to get started with this lab, you need to read uh, the instructions sec section. So in the instructions section, it says here, create a folder inside documents folder called Microsoft Word Labs. So basically to do that, you open the file explorer here, you click on it, and then you click on documents, and right click any empty space inside document folder, and choose new, and then folder. And once you get a new folder highlighted like that, you just type here Microsoft Word Labs. So this is the folder that uh, I expect you to create in order to uh, save your files. Some of you might say, okay, well, I would like to save my files uh, uh, on the SkyDrive. So if you prefer to use your SkyDrive account, that's totally fine. You can go inside your SkyDrive account and then uh, double click on documents. And then inside documents here, you uh, right click and new folder and you create a folder that is called Microsoft what? Word Labs. So that is what I expect you to create. So it, it should be inside the documents folder. And then you create this folder either locally on your computer or using the SkyDrive. So going back here, it says here open, uh, 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 but keep in mind if you decided to use the SkyDrive, if you have uh, internet connectivity issues, you will have hard time accessing the file. So now you need to uh, think before you uh, use the online drive. If you need to have access to your drive with you all the time, even if the internet is out, you should be able uh, to save the file locally uh, inside your computer so uh, either way uh, it should be fine because even the, if the internet is down it will not be down for a long time so now the second one so I created the folder so I'm done with number one let's look at number two open Microsoft Word then click on blank document All right I'll go ahead and open Word uh, do you know how to open Word if you are in the start view here you type or the start screen the metro view you type word and then you should be able to get the name of the application if you click on it uh, you already have it open so let me do that I will close this uh, instruction file and then I will do it one more time I will type word and then when I open when I start Microsoft Word it will ask me here what what would you like to do uh, in the instructions I said please open a blank document or create a blank document so you click on blank All right so going back to the instructions I already saved it here I have it I will open the instructions uh, uh, open Microsoft Word then click blank document I already did so in this scenario here I will uh, if you already have Microsoft Word open and you need to open a blank document guess what to do can anyone tell me what keyboard shortcut combination do I need to use control N control N uh, N short for new I need a new document so now uh, let's look at what you can do to finish this lab and instead of going back and forth look uh, to read the instructions you need to go back to the instructions now to start working on the solution file you need to go back to the solution file so I need to both of them to be open side by side so if you click do you know this is the title here if you click and drag on the title now this is I will put my solution on the left side and then I will do the same thing for the instruction but I will position it on the right side 
So now I have the instructions on the right side and the solution on the left side. I expect you to do that uh, uh, in, in all of your labs to make your life easier unless you have everything in one, in one file, the instructions and the solution. Uh, or let's say I have, if you have the instruction and the solution, you can go to view and then it change the way you display your window, but this is not the topic of our discussion today. So let's go back and read the instruction. It says here, uh, open Microsoft Word and then click on blank document. Save the file as Word Lab. So you need to save the file as Word Lab 1.docx as you see here. Where do you save it? You save it in, inside documents, Microsoft Labs uh, folder. So I will go here, file, and then save or save as. Can anyone tell me? Now let's let's click on save. Let's first look at the title. Is is this document saved already? If it has documents and a number, it means that that's the default name. So it was not saved before. If you even if you click save, the save as dialog box will open. Do you see save as? So uh, by default, if it is not saved before, the save as will. Uh, open. So where do I need to save this uh, file? Can anyone tell? Yes, you are right. I you go to computer and then you go to my documents and then inside my documents you already created a folder that's called Microsoft Word Labs. You double click on it to open it and then you change the name of this file even if you take the extension off and then put the name Word Lab uh, 1 since you have the save as type here DOCX, that means that this file will take the DOCX extension if you click on save. But make sure that you save it in the location that is specified in the lab uh, instructions. So now I saved it, look at the title, now I have uh, a name for the file. So now uh, what do I have uh, next? It says uh, save the file, I already did, number four, once the document is saved, close Microsoft Word and then reopen it again. So leave the instruction open. It doesn't make sense to close the instruction. So just close the solution. So I will go ahead and close the solution. Now it says reopen it again. Well, now that's how I need you to start looking at the exercise and then think, how can I open Microsoft Word? And how can I open the file? So if I go to the Metro view, if I press the window key and then type Word, and then try to open Word, it takes me to the instruction. But it says here, reopen Microsoft Word 2003. And then after you open it, open Word Lab 1 DOCX from Documents Microsoft Word Labs folder. So let's go ahead and look at this location. I will open the file explorer and then I will go to Documents, Microsoft Labs, Microsoft Labs, and then I will double click on the file I just saved. And then I will position it again. Now I have it back. So uh, now you know how to save the file. You know how to open uh, the file. All right. So some of you, uh, if you, even if you have this closed, if you go to here to File, and then open, you can do that. You can go to open and then it says here most recent, but the problem if you do that, look when I click on it. I will do it one more time here. Uh, file and then open. And then I will go to uh, computer and then I will look in that folder and then I will click on the file and then I will choose uh, open, all right? So now let's close this one and then close this one one more time. Now let's do it for the third time. File and then open and then computer and then Microsoft Documents, Microsoft Word Labs and then Microsoft Word Lab 1. Open. Now look what happened. Look what happened. Same thing, right? Same thing. Because it was open before, I didn't see any anything changing. But because I closed it and then went to file, open, I have two windows now. The file that has the instructions and the file that has my solutions. 
make sure that you look in the title here this is the instructions and this one here is uh, my solution so now let's go back to the word document and see what do we have next once you open the file it says here turn formatting marks on you don't turn it in the instructions you turn it where you turn it inside your solution file so where is the show height format this icon here so I will click on it and then that that already that answers uh, the turn formatting uh, marks on and you have an icon here that shows you exactly uh, the icon how it looks so if you compare if you look at this one and then look at this one they are basically the same thing click on the first line at the top of the uh, page uh, the first paragraph mark here so this is the first line and then do what then press enter four times so I will click on the first line here and then I will count one two three four so now I pressed enter four times then press enter four times delete two paragraph marks using the backspace key on the keyboard so you you look at your keyboard you will see a backspace key above the enter key press on it once and then press uh, uh, on it uh, again because it says here delete two paragraph marks using the backspace key on the keyboard use the up arrow key to move the insertion point to the first line so now uh, uh, there are four keys on the keyboard up down right left so I will use the up arrow until I move to the first uh, line so now look at my insertion point it is located at the first line press the delete key until you remove all paragraph marks except the first mark so delete delete now I deleted twice and I have the first paragraph uh, mark uh, as the instruction uh, tells me here except the first okay now enter today's date in the format month day two digits year three digits so I will go ahead and type here uh, you type you go ahead and type the month name let's say uh, June and then once you press space bar uh, if you uh, it, it gives you a recommendation if you press enter it will put the date for you so now that's perfect that's now it's easy now uh, press enter once so after you put the date you press enter once follow the instructions as you see it here and then type your first name and last name so uh, in your scenario let's say your first name is John and your last name is William you will type John William but in my scenario I will type my first name here and one second uh, here I will uh, type my first name and I will type uh, my last name All right now re read the instructions uh, press enter once then type your first name and uh, your last name uh, position the insertion point at the beginning of the first line then press the tab nine times so to position the insertion point uh, uh, you need to press home key to go to the beginning of the second line and then you press the up arrow to go to the beginning of the uh, first line so again home to go to the beginning of the second line up key or up arrow key to go to the beginning of the first line and then you press tab nine times one two three four five six seven eight nine all right now you go to the second line and then one two three four five six seven eight nine so now I pressed the tab key nine times from the beginning of each line now let's look here uh, position the insertion point at the beginning of the second line then press tab nine uh, times press end to position the insertion point to the end of the second line uh, okay now let's say the insertion point is here you press end key on the keyboard to position the insertion point or you can click at the end but end usually takes you to the last character or digit in that uh, line so I already finished number 15 press enter then so press enter then press backspace key multiple times until you position the insertion point to the beginning of the new line so well did you see what happened I just pressed the backspace key once and then it took me to the very beginning of the line so sometimes 
you need to press multiple times if you have uh, multiple tabs but in this scenario I just press the back space once and then it took me to the beginning of the uh, new uh, line now I think we are doing very well type Mountain Empire Community College so I will go ahead and type here uh, Mountain Mountain Empire Community College now press enter twice then type my goals one two and then I will type my space goals and then put colon and uh, make it bold so to, to make it bold you need to select it so I will go ahead and select it you can select it by positioning the uh, insertion point here at the beginning and then click and hold and drag or you can go to the margin and then click but you have to see the mouse uh, arrow and then click that will select the entire line and then uh, go to the home tab and then click on uh, B which is short for bold now what is next press enter all right and remove the bold format so press twice then type my goals we already did that so now press enter and remove the bold format so you press enter and then how do you remove the bold for look at the bold format it is still active why because the line before it has this uh, format so to remove it you just click on it once or you can press on control B control B will remove it control B again will apply the bold so keep that in mind when you uh, work with your uh, assignment or with your lab uh, type four personal goals that you dream to achieve while you are at, you are at uh, uh, mountain while at mountain and park community college so four goals this is this will vary from one to another but i expect you to put actual goals for the uh, uh, sake of demonstration i will just type here uh, goal one and then press enter goal two and then press enter goal three you don't type goal one goal two goal three goal, goal four i expect you to type actual goals what would you like to dream or what would you like to achieve what are your goals uh, while you are at uh, uh, mountain empire community college press uh, enter again and then goal uh, four and then i i already typed four right now let's read the instructions uh, select your personal your four personal goals then create a diamond bulleted list so these are my goals one two three four right uh, now remember you don't type goal one you just type an actual goal uh, let's say uh, you would like to uh, uh, get four gpa average in all of your classes so that's one goal you need to uh, type that and so on you need to come up you need to think and come up with your own four goals and these will vary from one person to another then I will go to the home tab and then click on the do you see the bulleted list this is the uh, regular bulleted list but I need to click on the down arrow and then choose the diamond bulleted list All right what do I have select your we already did that zoom in the document by 150 so you know how to zoom we already covered that in the lecture so you, you keep clicking on the plus sign until you zoom in 150 percent save and upload your uh, document so you click on save you make sure that you save it and then if I uh, uh, make it bigger here so that's basically what I expect you uh, to uh, submit make sure that the for, uh, format is showing make sure that the date is showing as you see here with uh, tabs so uh, that's basically the sample solution that uh, your document should look exactly like what you see uh, on the screen right now and i will uh, take a, a screen capture of this solution here and i will put it at the end of the instructions uh, documents at the end here you will see uh, something that says here is a sample solution and I will put it here so you know exactly how your document should look like before you submit it and then once you finish you save uh, your document and then upload it uh, to blackboard 
I, I, I expect you by now you know how to upload a file and you know where is the location uh, of the file. Thank you everyone and I will see you uh, in future uh, labs. Bye-bye.